Society today heavily depends on software, transportation, financial services, automated industrial production. There is hardly an area of daily life that works without software. But how can we make sure that these systems are reliable, safe, and secure? At the Interdisciplinary Center for Security, Reliability, and Trust of the University of Luxembourg, scientists are working on automating software validation and verification. A big challenge since such software usually cannot be tested in real-world environments where it is operated. The risks for machines, people, or of financial losses would be far too large. For example, when testing flight dynamics of an aircraft or online financial transactions. The behavior of those systems is extremely complex. The environment in which they operate is extremely complex. The number of potential scenarios of what can happen is infinite. And in such a context, how can you gain sufficient confidence that your system is reliable, secure and safe? And for that, you need to somehow automate the verification and testing process. And not only you need to automate it, but it needs to be smart. It needs to be smart at finding problems. Using various methods from artificial intelligence to statistics, scientists from the Software Validation and Verification Lab, short SVV, aim at pushing the systems to their limits to identify vulnerabilities which could lead to safety or security breaches. Their research is driven by a careful investigation of the challenges engineers face in their specific context and domain. We try to capture that intuition of domain expert in terms of heuristics. And these heuristics guide our algorithms to generate scenarios that break the system, that shows those failure. For example, in the case of self-driving cars, when the road is curved or it's a ramped road, there is little time for the uh, system, for the self-driving system to recognize, to identify a pedestrian, and therefore the car doesn't have enough time to avoid uh, an accident. For his outstanding scientific work, Professor Briand received an advanced grant from the European Research Council in 2016, the most prestigious individual research grant in Europe. Researchers usually don't have ready-to-use solutions for people in industry. And probably filling that gap between basic research and industry needs is the most difficult kind of research because you need to find solutions that scale and that are applicable in realistic contexts. The SVV department's driving force is its collaborative work model. Scientists can intensify their applied research and innovation activities while working with external partners on automated software validation and verification. Though they know that the risk of software failures and their consequences will never be eliminated, significantly decreasing risks is an important objective. We just have to reach a sufficient level of confidence within the time and resources that we have. That's why we need to automate it as much as possible. Because usually human resources are limited, but on the other hand, increasingly computing resources are inexpensive and widely available. So if you can automate the process of verifying and testing those systems, you can go much further uh, in terms of ensuring that those systems are reliable, secure and safe. Software keeps our society running and makes our lives easier, safer and more secure. But it can also entail a potential and significant risk in many systems playing a critical role so it is crucial to constantly strive to improve the reliability, security, and safety of these systems. This is the aim of the Software Verification and Validation Department at ST.